Good morning, everyone, or good afternoon. So today I'm gonna to talk about what I aspire to be. You know, when I you know, when I get older, when I finally finish with school, my, my goals, basically my dreams, and that's to become a sports analyst. And even though the sports analytics like field, it's not really one of the more popular, you know, fields to, to try to take a career in, but it's something that I've been wanting to do since I was a kid. You know, we all have dreams and goals of what we want to do. You know, some of us want to be teachers, some of us want to be doctors. You know, but for me, I, that's never really struck out to me. You know, I've never been a school type of person. You know, I just, I, it was never for me, basically, you know. But the one thing that I could always have my full, you know, attention to, be fully determined with everything, it was when it came to sports. You know, honestly, like, it's not even an understatement, but sports is literally what revolves everything around my life. I literally even have it tattooed on my wrist, you know, my whole room. It's all sports related for Chicago sports teams, and that's just the type of person I am. I purely sports related. If anyone knows me, you know that I just love sports in general. You know, and I've known this since I was a kid. You know, coming into a household with predominantly more males than girls, you know, my mom was the only female in my family. I have two brothers, an older brother, a grandpa, cousins. You know, since, since about four or five years old, I've always had a ball in my hand some type of sports ball and I started off with a soccer ball at first but it just wasn't the same feeling until I still remember the exact day it was April 15 or it was April 16 2011 and it was the first game of the playoffs for the Chicago Bulls against the Pacers and my older brother who was in the backyard working with my dad on something came inside and told me to change, change it to the channel now normally I knew basketball but not to that certain extent and I watched the game and I was just mesmerized. I was starstruck at this one specific player, Derrick Rose, who's still my favorite player of all time to this day. Um, but ever since that day, it's just been basketball, basketball, basketball for me. And that was when I was in fifth, no, that was when I was in fourth grade, actually. I was in fourth grade and now I'm 20 years old and still the same thing. So when it came to this, you know, journey and selection. So back then when we would watch games, me and my older brother, we wouldn't have like the ESPN channels or anything like that. We only have like the Mexican version, like ESPN Deportes and stuff like that. And me and my brother would always say that the commentating was horrible. So what we would do is I would mute the channel and I would commentate for the game. And then the more I did it, the more comfortable I got with it, the more I realized this is something I actually want to do. You know, when I'm watching basketball games, you know, more people usually just pay attention to just the game itself. But me, I'm always paying attention to whatever the commentators are saying, whatever they're discussing, whatever they're talking about. And I knew since a kid is exactly what I wanted to do. And in order for this to begin, I have to finish my associates here at Daily first and foremost. You know, I feel like as soon as I establish myself, finally finish what it, my gen eds, what I need to do here, I can finally transfer to a four-year university and hopefully get a major in journalism or sports communication of some sorts. The problem with that, though, is in Illinois, there's not really too many journalism, you know, majors or something like that. It's usually very far from here or out of state. The closest one, the one that I've been having my eye on is Illinois State University. I know they have a great program for journalism and sports communication overall, and I feel like that's most likely where I'm going to attend in a few years. Um, and then after that, you know, you really have to just get in the working field if you want to get into this type of position. Like I said, this is not really one of the more you know, popular job fields or anything like that, but it's something that I aspire to do. It's something that I've been wanting to do, like I said, since I was a kid. And while I'm in university, the main goal is to hopefully get a job there by commentating games or even writing about the sports that are going on in the school. That would be a good first step and to leverage into what I get into the working field. And finally, once I finally you know, finish college, finally get my degree. That's where I really have to go into the working field. Now, obviously, I'm not going to make it right away into the NBA or into, you know, college division one right away. That's where you have to work your way up. And, you know, in this process, in this specific job field, I have to, it takes years and years of commitment, hard work, and determination. And I'm aware of that. And I'm, and I'm ready for that. You know, this is something I for sure have been wanting to do, you know, my whole family, everybody around me, they always tell me what I want, what I want to do with my life. You know, like what I want to be when I, you know, when I finally get older. And I never knew. Nothing ever just starstruck to me. You know, everyone would always tell me teacher, you know, engineer, mechanic, but none of them ever just appealed to me. But when it comes to, when it comes to sports, oh man, fully, fully attentive right there. 
But um, yeah, I have to start off slow. You know, probably get some Division three, Division two colleges or something like that to start com color commentating on. Or maybe first start off writing for their school paper on the sports section and work my way up. There's just little steps that I have to take along the way in order to make this dream a reality. But I really feel like it could be possible, you know. It's something that I know I could do, like 100%. It's not something that I'm hesitant about. It's I'm ready for it. And that's the analytic dream, to be honest just wanted to become a sports analytic since the day I was a kid and you know sports made a huge impact on my life that's that's all I watch it's all I talk about it's all I literally watch in my free time and I and I remember commentators always had that same impact on me from Kevin Harlem to Marv Albert you know to Stacey King Neil Funk you know I know a bunch of commentators off the top of my head because they made that impact on my life to make sports fun like, I feel like commentators are the most underrated thing about a sport in general. They get you excited. They get you feeling, you know. However they, the game approaches, however the game is progressing, that's exactly what the commentators will let you know. So, this is for sure something I want to do. And in, in sports, commentating made such an impact on my life that I want to do the same for the future generation. So, this is my analytic sports stream.